the concept that I have to answer this question in 2023 blows my mind because it was the question I was answering in 1996 in local chambers of commerce in New Jersey, which looked like the following, Gary, and I was like 21 and I looked like 16 at the time. So I get where the cynicism came from for the business people. They're like, Gary, this website thing you're talking about, it sounds like a waste of money. We have the yellow pages. Like why would somebody have to find you on the interwebs, World Wide Web? Like everyone uses the yellow pages. And I was like, John, everybody used to ride a fucking horse to work. Now we use a car. You know, the answer to your question is, if people on average are losing $76,000 that are on this call by not using technology, and even if that's an inflated number, if the number's $1,000 plus time, you know how many people here, if they used proper technology, would be able to go and see their kids soccer game during tax season like like this is time and money like i don't understand like your ideology that you hate ai or you hate technology or you liked it better in the 80s when the kids played outside like i'm sorry like you live in 2023 and you're running a business and to not use technology or demonize technology is asinine you use technology for everything if you don't like technology why do you have an iphone if you don't like technology, why do you use Uber? If you don't like technology, why do your your food with seamless? And you do all these things in real life. Like, why don't you use a paper ticket at the airport? You're using your QR code. Like, if you're doing all those things, how on God's green earth are you not using technology to make more money and have more time with your family? And because you're not used to it or you don't like it, I get it. I get it. Like, it's like you don't want another app. You don't want another, you don't want to pay the SaaS fee if you don't use, I get it. The problem is it's pretty well documented that you're wrong. And more importantly, if your competitors continue to get more efficient at this, they're gonna take your business. So real quick in the chat for the 600 plus of you, how many of you are retiring in the next five years? And I don't mean you're gonna crush it and make so much money and buy an island. I mean, you're old and you're finished and you're done in five years. How many are retiring within the five years? Good. So for Al Dorf and one other person, okay, like I can I can wrap my head around you kind of like mailing it in the next year or two because you're wrapping it up. But for everyone else here, when, when I see Jack at 26 years old in the chat, like what are we doing here? Forget about this technology. Like everybody here should be using AI every day and nobody is. I know that to be true. It's that early, I get it. By the way, me included. You know, I'm giving my own advice. I'm like kind of giving advice to myself. Like, I really need people to wrap their head around not understanding how to use better tools. Like, look, I guess I get that you can like get a screw into, you know, into a wall by using a rock, but like we invented the screwdriver, use it. Like, I get that you can eat with your hands. I, by the way, do that often, but like, but it's like the fork exists. Like the concept to not use software to make more money and have more time for your family bananas to me. Believe it or not, there's no razz on this. I'm empathetic. Mm -hmm. You know, don't let my cursing and Jersey energy right now throw anyone off. I'm deeply empathetic. My father didn't accept credit cards or have a computer in the store when I started in 1993. I'm like, we, we didn't take credit cards. I'm like, dad, He's like, people have checks. I'm like, not for long, bro. Like, <laughs> like I'm like, dad, we don't have our inventory figured out. He's like, we count it by paper. I'm like, dad, they're stealing, like, your managers are stealing shit. But like, like, technology is good. I understand you didn't want to pay. Like, I, I have such an old school father, Matt. Do you know that my father still doesn't wire money digitally? He like still signs the checks. We have a hundred employees at Wine Library in Springfield, New Jersey right now. Yeah. And my father can't vacation because on Wednesdays he has to sign everyone's check. You know, like I'm deeply empathetic. I've been with yeah. an old, like my favorite person on earth professionally is my father. And I like basically still help him manage his business. Like I understand. I just also refuse to take an opportunity and miss it. If anyone is part of that crew on this call or listening in the future, you will make more money and you will have more time and you will be happier if you make the commitment no different than eating better and going to the gym will be better for your health. News alert, it's better. And like I get, like I, that doesn't come natural to me. 
All the muscles in my body only happened in the last 10 years, not the prior 38 years. I'd never been in the gym in my life. I drink less soda, I eat less candy, I eat less carbs. All are devastating to me, I want them. They are delicious. But if I want the right things to happen, you do the right things. For the people like, I don't understand business people not wanting to run a better business. I understand being hesitant because it doesn't come natural to you. Mm -hmm. But but the cat's out of the bag. It's like I said 10 times already. It's 2024. It's hard to compete without technology. And I'm not even getting into what I need everybody else to do of what I care about, which is everybody here should be making two to three posts on LinkedIn a day to get customers. Like we're not even getting in. Like what you're talking about is like oxygen and like getting out of bed. Like the shit you're talking about is like, Step one, you don't want me to unleash on these people, Maddie. <laughs> like, I don't know, Gary, you're, you're, you're getting me pumped here. No, but I mean like, like to your point, like for your agenda and like what you want for these people, both for yourself and for them, like to me, that's just like waking up in the morning. For me, I'm worried about everyone here not producing content on social media. I'm worried about everybody here not having their website properly. I'm worried about he people here not really creating funnels that lack friction to great business development. I'm worried about here people being complacent of word of mouth because they've been doing it for 22 years. Gary, you don't get it. I've been the local CPA. For I'm like, that's great, Don. But like, I promise you right now, I can start a firm in any single place tomorrow and take tons of people's business from here. Never doing the work prior, hiring a kid that's been doing it for three years. I'm not going to get to it. But like somebody else is, like Zillow became a problem for real estate. Like, like let there be no confusion. The Googles and the Apples and the Amazons, they're coming for your business, everyone. You better wake up. They'd rather not put in the work for, and I, and I don't say that lightly. I don't no. say that to harass anybody. It's an ideology and a demonization and a, and a insecurity that they can't learn it without realizing they're way more capable than they think. Mm -hmm. and, and going back, you, you, you asked people like, who's, who's gonna be retiring in like five, say 10 years? Is there, is there advice you might give for someone who is retiring who's thinking like, you're an accountant, th this was your business, like this, there's a lot of money in that firm. Is there, have you ever talked to anybody about like future-proofing their business to say like, if you're not on technology, and I, I'm sorry if I'm front-loading the question, but if you're not on technology. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm laughing, I'm, I'm laughing because a lot of people here, based on the comments, have a sense of me and a lot of people don't. And one of the yeah. reasons I think I have nice vibes towards me is I'm not just interacting with the Facebooks and the Twitters and the Ubers. I'm like answering random DMs at like two in the morning from like small businesses that have like three, like I love people and I love small business. I come from small business. I grew up in a one store liquor store in New Jersey. Um, of course nobody's gonna buy your shit if you don't have tech. Yeah. Like, like it's 2024. They're, yeah. They don't want your cell phones in your phone and that's your business. Your book of business is dramatically less valuable if it's not got a layer of tech infrastructure to the people that would actually buy it. Yeah. Like I would pay, <laughs> I actually not in this sector, but in a different industry, I told a friend's cousin to buy the leading software, which was like $5,000 a month, which was expensive for how small the business was, but they were ready to sell it because I knew they could arb out the $60,000 investment on the exit of the business and they did. They, they literally got a million dollar offer more because they had the tech, even though they weren't even using it. Matt, they weren't even using it. They just yeah. had the license and put it. So like, to your point, I wasn't even thinking this, kudos to you on the question. It's 2024, Jesus fucking Christ.